Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we want to look at how to extract text between two characters in a cell. So what I've got on screen at the moment, if I just zoom this in a little bit more, is that I want to retrieve what we're calling the client code from the initial reference. So I've got the finished article here where I've returned the four characters in the first example and then two in the second and then five in the third so a different number of characters that in what we receive it's sandwiched in between two forward slashes so it's two characters which are the same in this example but could well be different characters and we want to write a formula to extract the text within them so I'm going to click in cell D3 here and look at how we go about doing that. And the approach I want to take is to use the left function. Now if you've used the left function before, you may find this a little bit strange because the job of the left function is to extract text from the beginning of a cell. And the text we want is not at the beginning, it's in the middle in between two characters. So a bit of a strange approach but the plan is to use the mid function to go and get the second half of this string, the one that begins after the first character, after the forward slash, and hand that over to left so it can then go from the beginning of what it was given. So hopefully that makes uh, a little bit of sense. It's not very straightforward this uh, it may take a few reading, but let's get stuck in with that. So let's use mid to get the second half of that string, of that text. So mid will ask us where is the text that is in cell B3, comma, where should I start? Where is the middle? And we're going to use the find function to find everything after that first character. So we'll ask it to look for a forward slash, speech marks there to indicate a literal piece of text look for it within B3 and uh, I've put a comma there on start num I'm not going to bother with start number so I'll just backspace and get rid of that and put the close and bracket in because by default the start number will be number one it will be the beginning so it's unnecessary for me to specify that although not incorrect and after that closing bracket, I'll put plus one, because once I've found the forward slash, I want the character beginning one after that. I'm not actually interested in the forward slash. So plus one after it. So I'm back into the mid function here. And I can put a comma. So then ask me how many characters to extract. Now, I don't know how many characters. I don't know how much text there is within there. I don't how, know how many numbers will be after the forward slash after it. So I'm going to use the len function on cell B3 to tell it to extract, oops, typo there, to tell it to extract everything. Take all of it. Take the remaining length, if you will. And then a closing bracket to finish off the mid function. So they're all back to left. And what that mid function's doing is it's going to provide everything after that first character. I think after the first forward slash. So in goes our comma to move us on to the next question for left, which is how many characters shall I bring up? I want to specify how many texts there is, but as mentioned before, there's varying lengths. So why I, I can't really specify easy here, I can't say, oh, there will be four, because in the next line, there's not, there's two. So we need to figure this out as well. And what we're going to do so I'm going to use another find function to find a forward slash again. I'm now looking for <coughs> the second forward slash. So when I put a comma and it asks me where should I look for the second forward slash, or this forward slash, I'm going to provide it with that mid function from before. So give it the second half, so when it looks for the forward slash it will find like the first one it will find will be the second one. <laughs> Once again, hopefully that makes some sense to you. And in it goes. So 
So when you're asking how many characters find that forward slash, um, and it's still on the find here, ask me if we're on a starting number, I don't, close in bracket, and take one away. Because the complete opposite of before, when you find that forward slash, you know, that will be the fifth character in this first example. So if on the T, the H, the E, the R, the forward slash will be number five. And I'll take one off. So then a close in bracket on that for left. And we'll cross our fingers. And when we press enter, that is a job done. I can copy that down to the other cells. And that is extracting all the text between two different characters. Let me just double click on that one more time to pop open the formula. I'll put this within the description of this video as well. So please you know, open it up and you can always just copy and paste this code straight from uh, this video's description. And then tweak it as per your needs. Because I'm sure your needs won't be exactly the same as this. But this is a good framework for what to do. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tips, tricks, some of our videos available at computergargar.com.